Yo, yeah, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be playing some Syndra vs. Rise mid lane. Sapphire Crystal start and refillable means that he doesn't have as much HP sustain as he'd like, so we're going to be looking to play pretty aggressively to burn those potions early if we can. And we want to try and make sure we're using our first strike and manifold band if we can. I'm pretty sure he started W, so when he walks towards me like this, it kind of gives me some anxiety. <laughs> Man, he's actually doing his placements really good. I'll go ahead and take the damage, though. That's fine, honestly. It doesn't even matter if we win or lose lane, because we're pretty much dependent on jungle. The only thing that matters is how well can we farm and how well can we apply splinters post, like, two. We don't need to play perfectly because we're playing a champion that rewards us for playing imperfectly. But again, our goal is just to see us lead. Now the issue that I have here is that because he's going Sapphire Crystal actually means that he gets lost chapter swank pretty fast. Just because he's already spent 350 gold to progress it, whereas I'm D-Ring. minions are all dying at the same time, it's so awkward. Nice. We're gonna drop an aggressive ward just to make sure we don't get ganked early on since we're on a gank timer at three, three minutes. This kind of depends. We have this ward here, so we're gonna lean bot side, because if Udyr is doing top side crab, we need to be able to move immediately. And I don't know why Ryze is dematting this wave unless he's trying to TP reset, because... I'm the one who's overextended right now into a UDR gank. But I guess we're swapping our entire topside jungle. Yo, this is like such a fucking dastardly plan. Alright, right, looks like Ryze is going to be doing a reset here, so he's going to go back and pretty much pick up a lost chapter for free. If he's got futures market. He actually counter gank it too, holy fuck, we're just getting giga wrecked. He went back for a fucking tier, wow. I guess mana is converted into damage on Ryze, so it's not too bad. This guy's- you know, I haven't played Syndra in like four days, so I guess it makes sense I'm missing literally every Q. It's crazy, because he TP'd and he committed like 90% of health on that trade, and I just come back with TP, and the lane's slow pushing to me. So if I TP, I can just stabilize it wherever the fuck I want, because he's got a minion D-mat here if he wants to do it, which he did. And I'm gonna go and skip the potion. We did come back with a little bit less mana than we should need, but should be fine. My Vine knows I have no prio, so if she walks up here and kills herself, I'm just gonna be really upset. Is he <laughs> did he really? Yo, if he recalls after TPing the lane and then crashing wave, I'm gonna be so fucking confused. There's no way he's coming back with literally no items. I refuse to believe it. Did he reset for resources? Like, he's afraid that he has no HP? I thought he had refillable, though. He came back with boots! He's resetting with 300 gold every time! This power is mine to command. He's confusing me. I mean, he auto-loses when we get Vi-6, right? Because we just ult him from over a wall into a full combo. He's gonna be here, sit here patiently. Get rewarded for doing absolutely nothing because you can't roam. We start pressuring Qs on all these minions because we're stronger than him now with this much AP. We never run out of mana because we have Manifold Band as well as Splinter resets. Unless, of course, we fucking Giga Troll like that. Just keep in mind, it's bad to trade HP with somebody who's Refillable Potion. Just because I don't really have the necessary tools to heal if I fuck up a trade. There we go, our first Q landed in a fucking 5 minute lane. We're crazy, man. Alright, he does have ult, so he's probably going for a bot lane roam here. We're just gonna ping it and clear our waves since it doesn't really matter. They're all dead anyways, so... We're just gonna hard push mid lane and reset. I have enough for a lost chapter on this reset, which is absolutely fucking gigantic for us. I'm just gonna go and assume that he goes for the safe route. If he cancels my recall, it's kinda... Actually, we probably could've killed him right there, now that I think about it. 
Would have been an opportunity. He was like 50% health. Oh, this is actually insane for us. What the fuck are they doing? That was a really big overstay, especially with no mid prio. And we're two splinters away from the uh, the young upgrade on our Q. We're gonna hard push this wave, and I might even go for a bot lane roam off this or top lane roam. I don't really have much to keep me here in mid lane. Great job, bot side. I mean, we're up pretty much 20 CS, so I guess that's about as much as we could ask for. Drop a ward on Raptor. Udyr has to be on a reset just because of his HP values that he had. I could have actually waited for him to walk up for cannon and maybe denied him cannon. That would have been a better play than QEing at the start. But he is still losing CS, so that's a good thing. Wave is slow pushing towards me, so I just need to go ahead and keep holding him as long as I can. Our goal here is really just to get one more splinter to upgrade to Q2. The only way he actually just completely cucks us if he goes Merc Treads, and I don't think he's willing to do that. My bot lane's pretty much on a reset here, so there's really nowhere for Rise to roam to, unless he commits to a top lane dive. So we're just gonna use these three minions. Eventually Rise will have to come back. I got a little bit over- <laughs> I got over aggressive on that one. Okay. Those tier 1 boots are actually doing fucking god's work over here, I'm not gonna lie. But again, we're just disrupting the CS, getting a CS lead. We're pretty much up 400 gold in lane off of uh, farm alone, and then you include first strike money, and we're about 500 gold up. We know that Uter's above us because he just did rifts, so we just need to hug the bot side of mid lane. Now, the issue of them having is Soraka could roam into mid lane for a gank, but it's Soraka, so... She's not very good at ganking, so I could just literally sit bot side until Udyr resets. I don't want to let this guy reset just because I don't want him to spend his money and refresh resources, so we're just going to push the wave there and check to see if he's recalling. Uh, we have enough damage to kill him here. He's at 900. We do approximately 800 damage on a combo here if we full connect an entire 6 ball ult. So I just need one more Q to make this, like, stable as fuck. Okay, if I connected the E there, you guys saw that it would have enough damage to kill with ult, so it's just really bad E tempo. But again, this guy has to reset and TP if he wants to match me, so we're just gonna hard shove this. And we can actually just run straight bottom if we need to. Top's getting kind of destroyed. And we're actually gonna stay here, we're gonna overstay with 1400 gold because I just literally do not care. We can just keep pumping damage in this guy and then reset whenever we want. I'm so close to that plate though, and that would pretty much give me the Luludens reset. That's fine. I'm so close to Luludens at this point that I just need to stick it. Like, we have so much information on where the jungle is because he's constantly in lanes getting ganks off. But I need to reset now if I actually want to back up my teammates here. Is she just sitting on the vision? Oh my god. This is actually bad because I don't have enough items. Oh fuck, alright, we lost. My team's griefing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he had just enough distance, but this doesn't make sense that they stay there in that fucking play. Like, it's a literally a 5-1 you'd ear. That's whatever, I'm already muted anyways. And I lost plate, so sad. I just got fucking reamed by my own teammates. If I get an RE off, I can actually kill both of them. In fact, with not- okay, Kais is catching mid, we just hard push this and try to stop them from recalling. If we do that, we kind of fuck them up a little bit. What's up, Prison Poppy? How are you doing? Nice. 
I don't think they expect me to have this much fucking items with my farm as good as it is. Alright, hopefully we get Tick Tower here. We have Vision of Rise mid lane, no ultimate available. We have a 30 CS lead, but he's got 3 kills, so he technically has more money than me, and he completed Rod at 11 minutes. So he pretty much just got fucked because we didn't match the TP here. I would really like to get first Blood Tower here because this would make such a massive difference for me. It's gonna Tiger form at me. I guess we can kite this perfectly. Oh, no way, dude. That's so fucking sad. I got the shutdown, but at what cost? And then my Kais is walking right through Rise because she's not paying attention. This is so miserable. Unless she played it perfectly, she's godly. Well played. Honestly, if we make it to two items, we might be strong enough to 1v9 this game. We're doing pretty hot so far. Pretty much this entire game is we lost because we lost the 3v3 bot side at like 3 minutes, so... He hasn't reset, this is like a really good gank angle. Too bad we haven't put any pressure on him. Like, Ronnie's is 100% a free matchup if you do actually focus on ganking it, but... We just spent this entire game playing around our bot side to go 1-7. But yeah, Udyrs could be anywhere. I have Flash, so I don't really feel that bad playing this aggressively. Is he actually gonna one-shot me here? I mean, how fucking broken is this champion? Holy shit. It's just Demonic Embrace and Tier 2 Boots literally running at me and doing 80% of my health. Off a of Smite at max range. I don't know, this just seems disgusting that this champion's in the game as is. We got him while he wasn't paying attention. Hopefully we can convert this Udyr kill as well. That flash was completely unnecessary. He wanted that insane tempo, dude. Nice. Got the cannon as well. I'm thinking pretty hard here, but Shadow Flame is still really good just because I'm solo AP and they're not going to build that much MR into me. I could technically go Rabidons here as my second item, but I think this is like what we have to do to be useful this game. We're fighting with me on reset, equal we probably lose this. They just need to leave here, they don't want to fight. There's really no reason to surrender here. We're gonna go and match Rise here. He's probably roaming the mid lane since he has a timer. But we do want to fight for this next dragon if possible. And we hit 80 splinters, 15 minutes, so we are pretty fucking cracked. Just checking the bush with W to see if there's any enemy Rises inside, because if I commit QE here and he runs at me. I do lose a significant amount of HP. And now we can just roam in the mid lane since we've shoved out bot side. But again, like walking through vision, it's not the greatest. There's really nothing to do, and leaning in the mid's not going to really result in anything, so... I'm just going to go and stay here. I could have actually frozen that wave if I wanted to. But she's actually just not paying attention to the player on her screen. It should just be a Caitlyn ult. We'll catch mid lane though, for sure. To stop them from taking this tower for free. I'll try to force him to pull here. This is actually a huge play for us, though. Yeah, I mean, we're just fucking destroying them. What is this? I'm stealing cannon because I want the splinters, FYI. And we should be able to take even the inhibitor tower here if we keep crushing the towers like we are. I'm gonna full engage on the rise if he walks up for this. I know he wants to E the minion and then Q off of it. 
But this should 100% be inhibitor. Actually, no, 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 Inhibitor tower, inhibitor tower. There's no shot we're taking inhibitor at 17 minutes, dude. No fucking way. We should reset. Too much money. I don't have chat enabled. This is like such a fucking awful decision, it's crazy. They never stop to think, why why are we not resetting with 3,000 gold on like four players? Like, it's okay to give up an Ocean Dragon at two. I should have pinged them off. I tried to type it, but you know, no chat enabled. It's actual tragedy. But okay, we might be able to even catch Flat here if he disrespects me. So I still have ultimate available. Okay, he didn't- <laughs> He got reaction time tested. He's like, there's no way that fucking kills me, dude! There's no way! My god, he's nice. a simp. I really want to save my flash here if possible. Land the hook. Crazy good. And now we can inhibit her if we want to. You know what? I'm gonna say never mind. That's a bit of an overstay. What's going on, Nightshade81? How you doing today? Oh well. I could go Mejize, but I just don't want to risk it because I'm so fucking close to Rabidons anyways. It's like almost disgusting. I'm not going to be reading these because I'm in the middle of recording a video, so... Don't spend your points on 16 meows to grief my video. Okay, I don't have TP, so I can't really match this. I can definitely back them up, but like, look at where we're on the map. There's no way for them to be here with no pressure. What's up, old? How you doing? We're going to try and finish Rabadons and our passives. Passive splinters if we can. I need to hug the top side because that's where all of our vision is. I might even go for blue buff if it's up. Nope, unlucky. But yeah, once we finish this along with our passive, we're just pretty much god tier. Pretty good, I had a nice day. What about you? I've had a nice day as well, thank you. Good to hear that you're doing well. But yeah, we have Futures Market, so we can basically just rush into it if we need to. I just need 150 gold. We can look for aggressive plays, even though I'm close to Rabadons, just because, again, we are stronger than their entire team, but... We're gonna look for a QE here on Soraka. Again, I'm just super close here. Yeah, I think maybe we stop playing through our teammates who are basically not aware enough. They're gonna do Baron here, so we gotta stop this. I'm gonna die no matter what here, but maybe we interrupt it. Okay. There's hope. I'm afraid of him flashing down, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hug straight down. Oh, they have vision there. What the fuck? There's no way. I guess I should have known with the way that Yudir was running down to catch me. Yeah, this guy's throwing, so we probably just do Baron on reset if we find this. Yeah, this definitely has to be a Baron play after we kill Yudir. Very, very good pick. Very, very good pick from my team and very, very bad overstay from them. I'm just gonna go and immediately TP to this. I'm gonna wait just so that the gold doesn't go over negative. But this should pretty much be free and then we reset and go into like bottom. Very good, what? 
Overstay? Very good pick. Excuse me. What did I say? But yeah, we should definitely take Dragon into Inhibitor. Very good dick. <laughs> did I actually say dick? There's no fucking way, I don't believe you. I'm so fucking afraid, man, of face checking this. It's whatever. We gotta make sure we use Baron here. So we should definitely play for bot side into. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take bottom inhibitor and then go into mid inhib, so. I really do not give a fuck about Vlad, we just force if they split push. Alright, we don't need three people to do this, we just need to be staggering wave. Alright teammates, just follow my lead, and if you follow for me, it's impossible to lose. If they try to split push here, we just win, you don't need to match this ever, unlucky. You your hat to recall to, to deal with us, so... It's doing Krugs. Alright, we just keep going. I get a single pick, it's just pretty much over. There's no fucking way we're diving this hard. There's no way this fucking worked. I guess we just triple inhibitor here. When I say triple, I mean double, sorry. Pretty sure we do actually win this, but maybe I'm crazy. There's really no reason why we should be afraid here. Oh my god, guys, I'm having an aneurysm. My teammates find it hard to focus on what's actually necessary to win. It's okay, we do actually convert this. Nice! That was really good timing on that one. I'm gonna take the negative 50 because I care more about the tempo. But if we 5v5, we should pretty much always win. Because there's no way for them to avoid Vi and Nautilus engage if we're paying attention. That one's just messy because we're split. There's no reason to ever go top here, oh my god. This guy is like... Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking scream. It's like, the idea behind it's good, like, if we go top, we get triple inhibitor, but like... You're basically relying on Siege at that point to end game, Which is too much of a risk. Cause we just went off team fight. I'd rather just go for mid and end if we have a chance to around inhibitor. This should be the end of the game, though. This was a very, very clean game for us. Unless Vi kills herself. It's a possibility. We just need the minion wave for mid lane so we could actually just skip bottom inhibitor. I'm gonna hit it while we're waiting for it to crash, though. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly. Have a wonderful night. Thank you so much.